Okay, admit it, you're singing the song. I know you are. Gotta love Grease. Who does not love Grease? Uh, I think the high school musicals are the Grease of this generation, except a whole lot cleaner, if you'll recall what we used to sing. Anyway, this episode we're gonna talk about my precious, my label maker. We're not in the craft room right now because I wanted a more comfortable chair in my husband's office. Um, I've gotta get a better chair in my craft room. Anyway, so this is the label maker I use. Is it the best one? I don't know, but I like it. And um, I'll show you what I use um, in it. Here are the different tapes that I use. Look, oh my gosh, pink, pink, pink. You've got to love pink label tape. It is a half inch. I've used it, I think you saw it in another video, I used it on my border stamps, I use it all over the house, love it. They make green also, lime green. Then I have a half inch clear or a half inch white, I kind of interchange between the two of those for various things all around the house. Um, and then there is the, um, this is actually three fourths of an inch, I use this on a lot of my totes in the garage, like labeling, um, you know, Christmas decorations or Halloween decorations, totes, you know, children's summer clothes, things like that. And then one of my favorite ones is the 3 8 inch car, um, label tape. And this is perfect for an example. Here's how I am labeling my Stampin' Up! Um, stamps, for instance. Here is an in color. I this is the 3 8 inch tape. You didn't have to cut. You didn't have to cut the width down. This is the 3 8 right here. And then I did. This is also 3 8 Let me kind of show you how I did that. But I cut that in half. This means 2009 in color. Um, yeah, I'm anal, but hey, I think it just makes me happy to label stuff. You know, I'm gonna go back and say that these are the regal colors. I'll put regal here. Um, and um, so you can kind of see how I've used that. Let me show you how I did the 2009 right here. Okay, <clears throat> I used the 3 8 inch tape and so I made the label width. You go over here and go to function and go to label length and hit enter and you can adjust it back and forth and I put it at 1.7 because I measured I measured this space right here it's about one and three quarter inch so that's how I did 1.7 I usually end up cutting it down but I think it's a good start and so you push enter and I just wrote it's already on it's on this setting size, but once you return and do like um, a line above another line, it adjusts the size of the font for the label length you put in. So I put 2009, 2009, and so then I'm gonna push print. Cut it. And here you go. There is the finished product. I would cut down the sides and cut right down the middle of the 2009. And then that would, that's the perfect size there. That's half of a 3 8 inch um, tape. So that's how I do the 2009. Also another handy tri trick for the 3 8 inch um, tape is it's the perfect size to go on the end of a CD case and in another video I'm going to show you how to convert a CD case you can get it like Office Depot into a container for your clean stamps. So these are just some some of the ways I use my precious label maker. I love it. So it's, it's a great tool for all you people that like to organize. Hope that uh, inspires you. Thanks.